This week we're in Spain, back at Benny Caseum. Last year was a rough one, but is third time the charm? We first came here in 2016 and it was our first ever festival in a different country. And because of that, it will always feel like home to us and it will always have a special energy. You all know last year didn't go too well, but we didn't want that to be the end of our Benicaseum journey. We are TPD TV and this is the real deal. TPD TV cannot exist without you. Thank you so much to our supporters on Patreon. Join now for exclusive extended videos and early access. Folks, we have just landed in Barcelona. Three hours late. Thank you, Ryanair. Now we're going to miss a once in a lifetime opportunity to see the Wombats. We're off to Benicassim again, and we've got Mary with us. Mary was with us the first time we came. Are you excited? Probably. Almost walked into that glass <laughs> fucking door then. We've also got another friendly face here this weekend that you haven't seen for a while. Wow. It's Ben. Hello. How are we doing, Ben? You all right? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, excited to get the car. Uh, yeah, excited to drive it. Less so. Hey, I've got great news. Definitely. We're going to have a good night tonight. I can't wait. <laughs> so as you might know, we went to Benicassim last year and we didn't have the best time, but they invited us back. So we believe in second chances. We're going to see if we can have a better time than last year. Wait a minute, it's not this side. Get in this car and get the fucking air Is it two still on? Oh. Good God. Oh, Let's Benny get... can see him again, baby. Woo. We're in the car. The car, we're in the car. That's the car. We're in the car. Mm. So we've got exactly the same setup as last year. The glamping tent, mm -hmm. and then we're going to try and get ourselves a nice hotel for the rest of the trip. Hopefully we don't get rude awakening. We are oh, yeah. already running quite far behind and we're not going to get to site until 8.30 p.m. Wait, wait, 8.30 p.m.? But the Wombats are on at 7. I know, mate, I'm sorry. We're not going to see the Wombats. It was your only chance as well. But I wanted to see the Wombats. Well, it. I've seen the Wombat now. <laughs> Here's the Benicassium shuttle bus, driven by someone who does not know how to drive a bus. Not doing a brilliant job, I reckon he's still going to need to reverse that. Yep. So you can get the shuttle bus for this price on screen now and it can provide you this fantastic service and I would say he's definitely going to crash. Hey, I'll tell you what, he's fucking done it. Give him a... Oh, no, he's coming back. Go on. Oh my God. Yeah! It's 9.15 p.m. We've only just arrived. Thank you, Ryanair. You'll be getting a tweet from me. Let's try getting to the site. So, remember what happened last time. It was actually quite easy getting in. Fingers crossed it is again. It's been a long time since you've been here. I know. It's been seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to be back. Well, I am back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, mate. Thanks for driving us, man. Do you know what? It was tough, man. Driving in another country. Racist. Racist. What do you mean? No, I don't mean it like that. Benica Seam has a ticket for everything. It's got a ticket for entry. It's got a ticket for just the campsite. It's even got a ticket for the showers. We've been a bit confused, but it's kind of on us that because uh, it's all in Spanish. But here we are waiting to get into the campsite, the fabled one from last time. It has been a real struggle getting in, but that's not on the festival. That's, that's on us. There's not that many good English speakers here, which is absolutely not a concern. And I'm not trying to say that it is where they're so ignorant as English people. It is a bit tricky, so do bear that in mind. Fucking hell, it's like Crash Bandicoot, this. Look at this. I mean, it looked more, <laughs> it looked more like Crash. I'll insert a splice of what it looked like. I'm too sober, man. What? I'm too sober for this time of night. Look at that. Five past ten. Man's not to drop. Well, I can see her. Last time I saw these, I was in a very different state. We're going to see if there's some redemption from last year. And we've been put under good authority that it's all going to be brilliant. It seems everyone saw the video last year and loved it so much that they've come here as well. It's annoying because it means I have to queue now. So we've just got to the glamping box office and the lady said that um, she needs someone to come and meet us to escort us to our lovely abode. So that's promising, isn't it? It means mm. that they really want to look after us, make sure that didn't happen again. Add time. You there, person watching. 
This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now I know you've heard of it, but what's it really about? Well, let me be your guide to all things Raid. If you didn't know, Raid have just added something called the Hydra Clash, which is a new clan-based competition where you and four other clans can see who can smack the Hydra boss the hardest. But who is the Hydra boss? It's one of the toughest bosses in the game. It's got multiple different heads, and each one is a complete boss battle of its own. It's got the head of Blight, the head of Torment, the head of Mist Chief, which is my favourite one, the Head of Wrath, the Head of Decay, and the Head of Suffering, which is my least favourite one. You definitely want to jump on and try out this new game mode, and for new players, you can get your hands on the Stag Knight, one of the best epic champions around, as well as a skin for the Stag Knight designed by Jontron, who's literally one of my favourite creators from back in the day. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th, it's as easy as that, and if you're not a new player, you can still get the Stag Knight and the Stag Knight skin through an in-game event. With all this exciting stuff and even more stuff coming to Raid Shadow Legends, if you haven't already started playing, then what are you waiting for? New players, use our link or scan the QR code on screen now and get a free starter pack with all this cool in-game loot. And once you're in crushing your enemies, come and find me and Chucky under these screen names, join our clans and we can play together. So just hit our link in the description right down there and we'll see you on the battlefield. And a massive thank you to Raid for sponsoring in this video back to Benicassium. A Dover. It's the same lady from last year who was actually lovely, so she I'm glad I got to actually tell her that she was nice. Yeah. Because she was the good in last year. Yeah. It was, they were all right here, it was just the security. Yeah. The guys here have been brilliant. They are so fucking nice. So our friend here has prepared something just for us, so it feels great, you know. Everyone's been so nice. Oh. Wow, they're nice and cool. <laughs> Three piece sweet in the back. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no way! Holy shit, there's a lot of What the fuck? Fancy. Oh, this is a nice Wow. wow. Fridges. I ordered the lunch tomorrow. Oh, is no. Oh, no. Paella from the chef who who made the paella for Coutinho and uh, Mohamed Salah. Oh, wow. it's, it's the best. It's the best paella in town. I promise you that. So tomorrow lunch is on me. Oh. At two o'clock, I will bring it here. Okay. Thank wow. you so Thank you. much. <laughs> Wow. I, I, really want, I really wanted to make things. Uh, this is uh, incredible. Yeah, that really, that, that's so kind, and we appreciate that so much. So, I hope you enjoy this year. Have fun. We thank certainly you. will. Thank you, very much. Hey, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're the best. We'll You're see best. you around. Wow. See you around. See you around. Oh my god. Wow. Amazing. We're drinking from the. <laughs> so, do you know what? I wasn't really holding a grudge anyway, of course. No. That's why we came back. But if we were. What a great show of, of just, I know that like we're a, we're a platform and stuff, but what a great um, customer mm. Absolutely. experience that This is. is incredible. And you know what? We've got fridges, we've got a fan. We've we'll got sh electrical. Let's show them around tomorrow. Yeah, when yeah, it's a bit lighter. Right. For now, let's get fucking happy. Yeah. <laughs> this is Moscato. I've heard it in like rap songs. I don't actually so it's not, it's not Blue Wicked? So it's not no, but bizarre. I reckon it tastes the same. We're here for a good weekend, folks, and I'm so happy. And this is going to be the best camping experience we probably ever had. <laughs> Which is annoying because the video that came out a week ago is our most luxurious camping experience. Oh! oh. It's like Prosecco, but with a blue flavour, like Blue Wicked or something. Right, so as you remember, last year, viewers, we've got a lovely little um, travel kit. Hand pressing flashlight. Yeah, there you go. Great. Earplugs, which would be brilliant. They block out the noise of shouting security. Yeah. And of Jake's fucking yeah. snoring. And in the morning, the sunlight comes through. They've <sighs> thought about it, and they've got a lovely eye mask. For your spare ears, you got some more. And for a friend. <laughs> if you have a <laughs> if girl, we should be so lucky. Girl or a boy. Really good. Thank you, guys. I'll put it on inside out. It's kind of a nice look, though. No, it's fucking not. Like, what bloom was on. <laughs> so everyone needs to turn around again. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Right then, gang. We're starting a lot later than we'd like. And now I think about it, I sincerely hope we've not kept them up because they wanted to show us no, that. No, because it's over no, 24, 24 hours. hours. But that guy might have finished his shift. And we oh, he did. He has been here since five. Oh, yeah. bless him. Well, what a great start. 
in it. And you know what? I actually love the fact that we're starting at this time because usually you sat about waiting to get started and get fucked, and now we have to get fucked quickly. Well, it's worth mentioning the festival didn't technically start till six o'clock. Let's we can go catch and have Cigala a dance at like three a.m. as well now. Definitely. Who? Cigala. I don't know who that is, and I don't smoke. So this thing wasn't here last year, but it looks like a pretty cool place to come and have a have a drink. We're all feeling good. Mary's feeling good. Listen, remember last time you were here and you choked that guy out? Yeah. I want to see you doing that tonight. I want to batter someone tonight. Only a thief though, only a thief. Some lad nicks Jess's purse out of a bag. He's a midget guy. We, we uh, chased him through the crowd. I got him, jumped on him, strangled the fuck out of him. He was fucked, but he didn't even have Jess's purse. He just had some other guy's wallet. Everybody around started jumping in and fucking him up. Cheers, boys. Yeah, to the, to the friends that anyone could have. Best friends that anyone could have. Oh, just a small beer. Just a small beer. Oh. Europe strikes again. I got a pint. I just thought that's what you guys had. But you've all got a liter. But you know why? I'm going to move on to the hard shit. Yeah. And you pussies will still be drinking beer. We'll find out whoever's out late longest. You ain't going to be out late. It's because you like to go into bed all the time. Well, I guess the camera will find out, won't it? Yes, well, we just spent maybe half an hour chatting to some viewers, some from, would you believe it, Glasgow, shout out Ryan, and then Jesus from Spain. We just felt so much love this year, man, and we really appreciate it, man. And I said man twice, and we are not even got into the festival, technically. I don't think you can call her a bitch. I can call her whatever no, I want. No, I think, I think the, the appropriate term is sket. <laughs> oh, yeah, because skets a bitch can be clean. Skets yeah. a local term. Skets always, you know skets skets always proper... mucky. And he starts saying hola to people. Yeah, hola and gracias. Yeah. I didn't get searched because I went through one with a woman. Welcome back <coughs> to the festival everyone calls Benicassium, but it's never been called Benicassium. Benicassium is the place. Everyone just calls it Benicassium. It's, it's called, called FIB. FIB. As we learn, because if you put Benicassium in Google Maps, you don't actually come here. You have to put FIB, try to get the location of the festival, guys. And it really, I really can't stress this enough. If you're coming to the festival, you need to put FIB. 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 Right? You know, we like to try different cultures when we're in other countries. So, you know what? Let's check out some Spanish videos. Oh, you know what? I'll get a zero. Zero? Oh. She's just a I'm a health warrior. Do you know what? I might buy my first vape. What? The bubble gum. Let's get the bubble gum with, can with nicotine. Can I get one bubble gum with nicotine and one without, please? So you're getting the same flavour twice. What if it's shit? Well, but it's good to compare and see if nicotine has any flavour. Check out my haul, yeah. Three vapes, $30. Euros. I got this Instapuff miscellaneous thing. I got several stickers, Instapuff. They gave us a lanyard to put the vape on, so the vapes always near your mouth. Would that fly in the United Kingdom? So the festival doesn't properly, properly start until tomorrow. So that's why some of the some of the stages are closed off and still under construction. I'm gonna say it. It's fucking well nice to be back. I'm having a great time. I need a beer. Alright, a little festival toilet review for the ladies. So there's this like shed which is full of toilets and she's gonna be sitting there's no queue there's a oh that was my bed there's a woman on the door and she gives you toilet roll shame if you need a shit because you've got to explicitly tell her I'm gonna need more than that but this will do me for a little week Mary are you ready to have your mind blown honestly I thought we we were surprised last year with Burger King Good that. I'd rather there was a beacon. One more time. Hey, turn around. That is the fucking sickest thing. You know what? Now I understand why the headliners were so shit. Because the real headliners are the food. I can't believe. They got the Taco Bell, they got the big hair. What more could a girl want? You know you're in Europe when everything's just a little bit upside down, eh? Grealish on fire, your defense is terrifying. Grealish on fire, your defense is terrifying. I guess we didn't miss wet leg. I'm here at Medicaseum. Haters 
I just can't see him. It's me in the VIP with my boys and gal from the TPD. You can't live this life, so just press subscribe and do me a favor, click the bell and also press like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking dickhead, man! You're a dickhead! Imagine me getting kicked out! <laughs> if you can't, they'll get punched and don't be punchable. That's my slogan. What a load of fucking nonsense! I'm gonna get tequila Red Bull, but she has to go ask someone if it's okay. I don't know why it won't be. Red Bull's a very protective brand, and they're very specific about what drinks they want officially served. And that's why you can rock up to a bar and see a fridge full of Red Bull there, but they can still tell you we don't have any Red Bull because they're not allowed to take them out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. All we want for Christmas. Fucking barrier. I'm at barrier for Sigrid. No, it's a man. My name's Sigala. How are you feeling tonight? Last year at Example, remember last year when I went to see Example? I remember last year at Example when you went to bed and me and Valley were out till the rest of the night. And, and where's Valley like, now? Eh? It, yeah, but this feels like when me and Valley were out, but instead of Valley, it's you. Yeah, the main but, man. Yeah, but, but people that you remember that last year, you went to bed. Yeah, but I'm staying out the latest tonight. I got some of these. Overall, pretty good. Not a volcano, but pretty good. Pretty good. Right, Ben. Yeah. We need to make sure that we're the last one, so we need to sit round here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. These coppers are walking around like this with their fucking fingers tucked inside the little bulletproof vest. Trying to stop me eating my burger. How much harm am I doing eating my burger? Don't sell your burger. We're just as you're fucking leaving, innit? Literally like... Yeah, bro, you're lucky I don't have a gun. Because guns are silly. I've got a feeling they're back at camp. Oh, fucking definitely. What are they else are going to be doing? They're not in. You are joking. Where the fuck are they? Shit. Shit, we're, we're the ones that are going to get murdered. here. <laughs> nice, man. That sounded good. Where are they? Because there's nothing else on. Like, we were, like, super late there. Well, this is embarrassing. Maybe we are the last ones to arrive here. You know there's a nice tent right there that you guys can sleep in. Hey, guess what we had an argument with? More security. No. <laughs> yep. Oh, are you guys all in here? 
Looks like I'm the last one to come in, I guess. Yeah, Jake, why don't you pull your fucking pants up? Because I've just been for a piss. We're locked up. No one's breaking through that door tonight. Jake Barley is the fucking worst person to ever stay in a room with because all he does is snore. Turn over, turn over. No, don't look. Morning, folks. It's warm again. Morning. But we're feeling good, or at least some of us are. Now then, Marty Bum. Oh, she is not happy this morning. Let's get an action replay on that. Right, it's time to have a shower on site. I think they're communal, but when you got big old... Anyway, don't matter. Let's go for the shower. How you on? Mate, this is fucking brilliant. I love this. Well, that was the best festival shower I've oh, ever had. What do you think? Unreal, like, I want to stay in there all day. I know, I might go back later. It costs this much, and I don't know how much that is, but it's definitely <laughs> worth it, unless it's like, I'd say that's even worth £100. You literally wouldn't be able to have a good time at this festival if you're camping and you didn't use yeah. that. God, that was good. Oh, wow. wow. Thanks so much for being so nice to us. I don't feel like we really deserve this, but we certainly are gonna enjoy it. So thank you very much. We've had a blast. Obviously in this insane climate, you need to keep yourself lathered up. And because we were flying, we couldn't take the good Nivea sun cream that we always use. So we're using this shit one. Fucking annoying. But skin cancer's not funny, all right? So be sure to do this. One for you ladies out there, you're gonna feel my pain. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I went for a wee. Come on, my period. Ugh, stay away from us. You can see I'm surrounded by sweet, empathetic men. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame when you're wearing footwear because you're a bit bloated, you don't feel great. feel a bit minging, but we're going to go get some campies from the shop. Do you know what, mate? I um, can't imagine how annoying that is. Thank truly. You. Thank you. Those That's crickets fantastic. are loud, aren't they? Yeah, I know. They must be on their periods as well. <laughs> Sisters. Yeah. Excuse me. We're back. God, that is so cheap for a fucking carton of wine. This is 10 cents cheaper to get some orange yeah. juice than it is to get the red wine. Look at it literally squeezing. Look at look how it does it. Wow. Oh, that's cool. You got all that from one bag of oranges? You mean there's a better way? <laughs> me when I get home. That, that truly is the nicest special shower I've ever had. It's just so nice. I was just stood there, washed my body like five times. Hey, don't look at my body like that. Wash my body like five times and I just feel so good now. What are these? Drinks? What actually is it? I think it is sangria. This is our glamping tent. This is how much it costs. Let's get inside and see if it's worth it. You get a proper bed with a proper mattress, which is nice. It's nicer than most of the hotels that we stay in. It's on a crate, so it's supported off the ground. You get two pillows and a nice blanket, which you don't really need because it's red hot. I think you can get up to six of these in here for the same price, but they just spec this one with four because they knew four were coming. As you can see, the glamping tent comes fully stocked with two excellent mini fridges. You've got your top compartment and, oh, that's right, ladies and gents, down here into the fridge area. <laughs> just don't mind that. Just don't mind that. <laughs> and you've got some that was the only way I could get that bottle Listen, in there. It tastes like Luke Seco. It's very nice. Now we're very lucky because our tents come equipped with these lovely fans. So these keep us nice and cool in this red hot heat. I want to go to Minicassi. We've also got power in this tent, which is a luxury that you just never get. I mean, obviously we've had it before. That's by bringing one of our sponsor power banks and stuff. In this, it's proper power from the wall, so it lasts forever and the fans can stay on all night, which is great for the environment, but you know what? 
needs must and that. Because you're out in the dust and everything, you're going to want to put your clothes not Yo, with bring you. some energy, man. Jesus. Yo, you should be happy to be here. Guys, come over here. Come over here. So, what Mary was about to tell you is... So basically, right, when you're out in dust, your clothes get all dirty. So what you need to do with your clothes, you need to put them in these wash baskets. Now I don't have one of these at home, because I'm a skirt and I just throw my shit all over the place. But here, I've got a wash basket. As you can see, mine's fucking empty. Something like that. <laughs> This is very nice, we're very pleased to have this. What? This is very nice, we're very, very pleased to have it. Would we pay this much for it? 900 euros, I think, is the number on screen. Probably not, but a lot of people do have disposable income. What would you rather do, Mary? Spend the 900 quid on an hotel. Well, you've spent 900 quid of our money on the hotel before, haven't you? Let's go and have a drink. I just want to take this moment to recognise and appreciate that Danny White's not here. Because, good God, would he be moaning about this heat? I've had to catch myself a few times moaning about the heat, and I never do that. So I can only imagine how insufferable Dan would be. Too warm. Well, of course it's warm, Dan. All you're doing is wearing long sleeve fucking drop dead clothing. I'm with three, and three are a terrible network here. I've had no signal, no data, or anything here all week. Trez, I've come here to top up my wristband, so I need to put some more money on it. And there's these lovely machines that should hopefully do it very streamlined. Should be very streamlined. So we've got a few wristbands with us uh, for the festival today. So I've got this uh, lovely luminescent one. I actually don't know what that does, but it says uh, Benny Kasim on it. It's re-entry. It's re-entry. So it means we can like leave the arena and come back in. Cash QR code thingy, which you use for your That's money. like your main wristband. This one's for you to get in the campsite, because the campsite's like separate to the arena. And this one is uh, for the glamping. So I've been to one festival this year, but it looks like I've been to the world. So thank you, FIB. It is absolutely dead today. There's no one here. But I guess it's still quite early. Oh yeah, in fact, what am I talking about? The festival's only just open. I'm forgetting that everything starts very late here. I know my body's not perfect, but you've got really weird legs. Weird legs? Yeah. How are my legs weird? Your legs just aren't in proportion with the rest of your body. No, you just haven't seen my legs, so you're confused by them because I'm always wearing jeans. My legs are fine. My nose is fine. Belly? Fair enough. There's a lot that could be done with the belly. Right, it's time for some food from one of these independent food trucks. I'm gonna go to this one. So I got the sour cream and onion, and they taste quite nice. I can think the onion's a little overpowering, but the sour cream really helps counter that. And if you've not tried this Pring Pringles, give them a go. It's a pretty good meal. Literally a double vodka. In what world? I think it's safe to say we've all had a great time so far this weekend. Yep. But Benny Casim, lineup wise, for whatever reason, it just didn't what it used to be. And um you know, it used to have Muse headlining and the Arctic Monkeys, and now it's got the offspring of Franz Ferdinand. That said, we're about to do our best run of the weekend. The only bit of lineup that we care about. We got Twin Atlantic into Kaiser Chiefs into the offspring. Finally, the offspring. Finally. So it's about time that we get started on an old favorite. It's the Don Simon. The worst sick I've ever had. I know. A sick with so many fumes I couldn't breathe. That is so mild and fine. This is one of the best red wines I've ever had. What's the vintage saying about this? Flash has come on on its own. The flash wow. is on. Oh, the band I'm most looking forward to seeing, which this is a band who's not on the up. They're firmly on the down, but I love them anyway. It's really dead here. There's so much space around us. We're literally at the barrier. It's been dead for everyone all weekend, hasn't it? You already know what to do, amigos. Girl. 
shove your ass in your hole. Good God, Twin Atlantic are fucking brilliant. They were really good. They were really good. You ready for Kaiser Chiefs? Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. This weekend, the song Guitar Hero 3. Due to lack of interest, tomorrow is cancelled. Kaiser Chiefs are a victim of their own success. If they were playing wombat sized um, shows, I think people would like them a lot more. But because they got so big and they're playing like you know, hour, hour and 20 minute sets. I, I think that's their downfall. If you saw the Kaisers do a 40 minute set, it would be fucking electric. And oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never been this far away from home. Got rejected because I've only got six euro on my little wristband. And this is why it's a bad idea. If they just made it a contactless only festival, it'd be just as quick and you wouldn't have to worry about this because now I'm trying to top it up. I've got the money in my bank. I could have just contactless, contactless, contactless her the money. Sorry, can we just con contact, contactless? I could have contactedless her, and she ain't gonna fucking do it. It's worth saying, like there are like kiosks you can go to the shop of, but it is quite frustrating because in a world where we've all got contactless on our phones, not contactlessness. Like, why are we paying for? It's because they want you to put money on the wristband, and then so you go home and I like, forget about like a euro here, a euro there. Why can't we just do Apple Wallet, douche? I don't even know where the booth is as well. I think I'd have to walk ages oh, yeah. to find it. So that was really easy, but great news. I actually don't have a physical card because I'm borrowing Rob's virtual card. So I'm not going to top up today, but uh, great system would come again. I tell you what, I'm trying to have a party vibe and go to the bar. Unfortunately, I'm chilling with Jake Barley who is off his head right now. Are you or are you not off your head? I'm just having a really good time. I am, but you won't come get a drink, will you? Huh? You won't come get a drink. Let, let's go get a drink then. Let's continue the good time. I don't need a drink right now. Oh, okay. Perfect. I've had a loads of drinks tonight. Yeah. Is it dead? <laughs> Do you think he's dead? Uh, is it dead? Uh, Can I kick it? Do you think he's dead? <laughs> is it dead? What? Come to the bar. Help me up, man. Yes. Oh. People come up to us this weekend saying, Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. Why are you here? Like, what's going on after last time? In all fairness, last time was like an exception to the to the rule, right? It wasn't really like the festival itself that was an issue, it was like the security. The festival itself is amazing. So if you've got a free weekend, free few days, highly recommend coming. Every time I go about interact with a Spanish person. For some reason, like, because I learned French in high school, I just always want to be like, bonjour. But then I went to Italy, like, two years ago. And all I want to do, well, all I've been doing is saying, grazie. Do you know what is really annoying? Is this the quietest we slept? Last night, in the tent, everyone trying to sleep, snoring like a fucking big old snorer. Now, when everyone's awake, look at that. Can you hear any snoring? I can't. Separated. Right, so this is my bottle of an egg. So that's a, that's a 
pizza of a vodka lemonade, right? I swear, I swear to God, my guys, literally, she was there pouring for about two minutes, this vodka. No, no measures, no shot glasses, no nothing. They just pour it in. Look at like UK festivals where they, they like measure out every shot, every ounce. That's for 14 double vodka Red Bulls. They don't do doubles. Can't serve 14 drinks to one man. Not only do they measure it out, but they charge you like an extortionate amount. Here, this was like, in all fairness, I actually don't know how much it was, but not that expensive. I've come back to the tent. Too fucked. I think with a mixture of the heat, probably the lack of water, certainly the amount of drink I've had, I'm just so fucked, fucked. And I think a good night's sleep is what I need. And I know I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I feel like ass, but right now there's nothing I want more than to just go to sleep next to this fan. And there's a good chance I'm gonna throw up. And I don't usually throw up. That's a late night, that half four in the morning. Yeah, I mean, a, a late night for some. Does Barley go hey, to uh, sleep? Uh, we're walking into a corn corner. So, I've just been chilling with Rob and Ben, and it took a lot of convincing for them to let me go off on my own. And you know what? I respect that because they care about my well being and I love them for it. But at the same time, I feel like a kid who's like at a school trip and the teachers let go to the museum shop on their own and I'm, it's giving me a sense of excitement like I'm pretty buzzing, I'm in another country like I'm a liability, I know that, I know that but I'm gonna be good this time, I'm gonna be good this time Compared to like UK festivals, is mental. I mean, five euro is cheaper than five pounds, and it's literally like for a cheeseburger at a UK festival. It costs you about a tenner. Oh my god, that is a million times better than. I've had this is my third burger of the day, which is disgusting. <laughs> but this burger is gorgeous. Better than Mackey's, better than BK. And I've had both of them. I had a Big Mac at Mackey's and Whopper at BK, the staples of both fast food restaurants. It's crispy. It was five fucking euros. It's a very rough morning and we're going to a hotel because we wanted to have a pool. So we're leaving the lovely tent now, but it has been lovely and we're so glad to have had it. So this is the Inter Orange and we stayed in its sister hotel last year. That was really nice. We tried to book that one again though. It wasn't available, but this one was. So let's do a little comparison. This is how much this one cost. We got lucky last time by booking it the day of and getting it pretty cheap. This time around, we didn't get so lucky, but 
it certainly looks a lot more premium, so I'm excited. What was he thinking of this? Like, right, I'm gonna be on TV tonight, I'm gonna be seeing from lots of people. I'm gonna wear the shittiest jumper around. <laughs> England. England. The British have around. Look how nice that pool this looks. Is serene, isn't it? I oh can't wait God. to get it. 100 no quid as well. 100 no fucking in. quid. Cheers. Cheers. And a free drink. Well, honestly, being in water and being in a pool, it makes me so happy. I've had like loads of showers today because it's been so nice to be in water. And I'm in water now and I'm just really happy. <laughs> I was expecting him to like flop back. <laughs> Jake just tried coming up this ladder all sexy like James Bond. And he's fucking broken it. Seven years ago today, we sat in the hotel about to go and watch Biffy Clyro. Um, a lot's changed in those seven years. Um, I'm uh, very pleased about most of it. Um, that was so good, man, that, that year. 2016 was was a real good year. We've had a nice rest, and now we're walking through a very liminal space, wine in hand, and we're off to see a, some music that we heard, some live music on the beach, which might be something interesting. We didn't do that last year, so there you go. I wonder how long it's gonna take you to realize that it doesn't take card. Does he need the cigarette? Yay. Now here's something I've been looking forward to for 365 days. We're going to set a new lap record and I'm not going to be last this time because we've got a woman driver with us. Woman driver, how's it going? She, I am a male driver. Oh my God, we've got an exclusive interview here with Michael Schuster. Are you excited to go around the track? I just want to say that wasn't a joke at Michael's expense. We love Michael. We hope he's doing very well. It was a joke at Mary's expense. Sending love and light to the Big Schumachers. Even though he did used to cheat. I don't know if I'm being slut shamed or if there's an actual reason. But last year, was just like, have you got a t shirt? I'm like, no. It's like, well, you need a t shirt to be able to race a car. I mean, people with breasts can also drive. And <laughs> I'm, yet to, I'm yet to see it. Benny Cats. Burger King. Oh, big kid. You excited? I am excited, you know. Mate, you've got no chance. <laughs> As the early man with the pink <laughs> You guys ready to fucking lose or what? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad race, but, uh, you know, I made some bad decisions and um, I'm grateful that all the drivers were safe. Some uh, some members of the team used some uh, tactics that I don't necessarily agree with, but um, do you know what? It is what it is. It's the nature of the sport and I look forward to the, to the next one. Thank you. Feeling ready for a good night at the festival? Yeah, I am to be fair. Like, I think it's going to be good. We've got Franz Ferdinand to watch, who will be someone to watch. Look at this. This drink is 95% vodka. It's just, they, they had like a little bit of the, they had like a, a few shots left in the bottle. Then they put it in, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll get a bit out of it. I'll just finish off the bottle. Get sort of a bottle out. I heard a rumour on good authority that the Minute Casino Festival was purchased, news were headlining. Ash Walker came here and watched the Arctic Monkeys headlining. And now, it's infrastructure-wise, perfect. Lineup-wise, it's like smaller than Slam Dunk. And it's not even a cultural thing, like, please. I'd rather pay a quid extra every drink I have to have some proper bands here and not Kaiser Chiefs, fucking Franz Ferdinand and the offspring. I just want to let you all know that I'm looking at Venus. So make what you want of that.
I don't think it is vegan. I don't think it is either. Well, no, but if that's what is that then? What's going on, Millhouse? I've, so, I've somehow all of a sudden just got a nosebleed. God, that is so not cool. No, it's, it's cool really because cool. Jake's such a fucking like ally that he's synced up with my period. And it's... Have you got anything for him then to shove up I his actually, nose? Do you want a tampy? I think I've run out, man. I think I've run out. What? I think I ran out. I only brought enough for me. I didn't think I didn't use it. Need one. Ben and Cassian, we've had a great fucking weekend. And, um, you know, I can only imagine how good this weekend would be if you had some bigger bands on. I remember back in the day when we first came here, the lineup was insane. Which is a shame because the festival itself is so good. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's under new ownership or what, but we would uh, we'd love to see Benicassi and return to form with some triple A headliners, with some big fucking headliners. Oh, I don't know. Is that is that it? I'm not sure. Who are you? Jack's dad in law. Jack's dad in law. Come on, let's go to bed.